Hello, my name is Christine Saros, and I'm the Vice President of the Enterprise Engineering, Cloud Engineering and Operations Organization. Here at Oracle, we continuously adopt our own technology to gain competitive advantage, achieve cost savings, and future-proof our business. We call this philosophy and practice Oracle at Oracle. Today, I'm going to share a big Oracle at Oracle story with you. And that's how we've migrated our internal enterprise and development services onto Oracle Cloud infrastructure, IaaS, SaaS, and SaaS platforms. That includes Oracle Fusion Cloud SaaS applications, our global business unit industry applications, our NetSuite applications, and our enterprise IT applications and services. We migrated all of these on-premises data centers to our cloud environments. Today, I'll focus on one of these areas, our enterprise IT applications. First, let me share a bit of background. Oracle is a large and complex organization, driving 40 billion in revenue and employing more than 130,000 employees around the globe. We had a lot of technical debt after years of expansion through acquisition and product growth and change through product strategy lifecycle. We had 200,000 compute instances, hundreds of apps, and at least 30 petabytes of storage, and we're managing many legacy environments. Service quality was inconsistent and our enterprise risk exposure was high. To address these problems, cloud was our move. Here's how we approached that move. We started by rationalizing our workloads, identifying where we had duplication and defining those services that could be decommissioned or consolidated, services that have been orphaned and needed a plan, or key services that required a migration strategy. With a project this large, stakeholder buy-in at an early age was critical. So we created programs to collaborate with business units on their migrations, define requirements, and build plans. We also created engineering communities, which included security and architecture review boards. In doing so, we built a strong foundation with our future with repeatable and secure cloud designs along with governance models. With our base architectural designs in place, we built templates that became migration blueprints. And with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI, we have the right cloud model to fit our needs, allowing us to retain security oversight and some operational management while enabling cloud resource consumption costs to roll back into the lines of business teams where applicable. Finally, we automated our build and deploy processes to shift towards our DevOps best practice. For us at Oracle, that means a common CI-CD pipeline for releases, lifecycle process automation, and the use of native OCI services to take advantage of predefined code and avoid configuration drift. As we complete our migrations, we have accomplished a 50% core efficiency gain from our previous footprint and a 30% gain in performance across our most critical enterprise workloads. In addition, our employees have greater job satisfaction working on new automation features versus mundane administrative tasks. This time is now available because we have seen an 80% reduction in ticket volume compared to our legacy on-premises standalone environments. We're excited by these results and excited to help other organizations find similar success stories as they forge their own paths to the cloud.